Mm -hmm. uh, the operative language is the so-called defraud clause. Yeah. Uh, that prohibits conspiracy to defraud the United States? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, this clause mm -hmm. uh, creates a separate offense from the offense clause? Yeah. Now, the statute is broad enough in its terms to include any conspiracy? Yes. For the purpose of impairing, destructing? Yes. Or defeating the lawful functions of any department of government? Yes. You know, judicial branch of the United States government. Yep. Supreme Court justices. <laughs> uh, the lawful function of the United States judicial system is inclusive of each and every county court. Mm -hmm. Every state court. Right. Every federal court. Let's go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you are intentionally allowing for the defrauding of the United States because of the unlawful function right now. Of any county court of the United States. We do not use forgeries to issue court orders. Right. We do not fabricate fake crimes against people. We do not use cell hearings in involuntary mini mm -hmm. psychotropic medication. We don't withhold evidence. We don't refuse to investigate right now. I want you tried for war crimes. Do you understand, Sheriff? Yes. I want my sons. <laughs> I want to speak to that woman about what her husband has been doing. Yes. And whether or not she decides to stay married. Yes. It has nothing to do with a consensual sexual relationship that we could have. <laughs> because it might be better for her to stay married, Sheriff. Do you understand that? I might ask her, well, why don't you decide not to divorce Mike? Yeah. See, I'm one of these mean men that once I start having sex with a woman, <laughs> I think we could get more money if she refused to divorce. And then she had consensual sex with a man. Now, when you think about it, Sheriff, <clears throat> staying married for the next five years might uh -huh, increase the amount of damages that Marilyn would receive. <laughs> it won't affect consensual sex. <laughs> 